What is going on, E Nation fans? This is the Perez 48 here, and welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. That we got some good news in the NASCAR world. Um, I don't know if this will count as the Kyle Larson saga. Uh, depends what Lar depends what's gonna happen Larson in the future, but it is kind of related to the Kyle Larson thing. But um, I don't know if it's a saga continuing, but. Anyway, so if you guys have not heard, Matt Kenseth, once again, is coming back to the NASCAR world again. But this time, he'll be driving in a number 42 uh, Chevy Camaro Z01 1LE for Chip Ganassi Racing. Honestly, me, it may be... Either most of you guys or all of you guys have not predicted that Matt Kenseth will be driving in a 42. Yeah, nobody expected that. Nobody expected Matt Kenseth to come back and race, uh, replace Kyle Larson until the end of the 2020 season. I mean, yesterday we had Ryan Newman announcing he was coming back as soon as the season continues. And then now we got um, Matt Kenseth taking over Kyle Larson's ride. This has been good news lately in the NASCAR world, and I'm ha happy about that. So, apparently, like before the announcement, Chip Ganassi Racing tried to call, tried to get Kyle, uh, not Kyle, Carl Edwards to. Um, drive the 42 and then Carl was thinking about it like it took him a day or two and then he rejected it he's like he's not he's like I'm not coming back nope and let's be let's be honest and I'm gonna be honest too I don't blame Carl Edwards for retiring or not coming back racing he's how NASCAR is um however he did say he wants to do like one more race like a better send-off just one more race, I think, from what he's said before. I don't know. But Carl's out of the picture. And then as soon as the Kyle Larson situation happened, everyone's like, oh my god, Ross Chastain's gonna be in the 42. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Um And then before the Matt Kenseth announcement, the news is like, nope, it is not Ross Chastain. And um, my personal opinion about Ross Chastain now in the 42. I'm a huge Ross Chastain fan. He is from my, I don't want to say hometown, but like the home county. He's in the, he lives, he was born and raised in the same county that I lived on. I believe he still lives in Alva, Florida, in Lee County. Um, to be honest, before the Mackens announcement, when I heard someone was going to the 42, before, before said Chastain was not going, I was like, yeah, I don't know if Chastain's going to be in the 42. And then news was like, Chastain's not going to the 42. I'm like, eh, okay, then who is it? And then Matt Kenseth, where did he come from? And I'm and I'm sure, like, Matt will do the 42 car. Chip knows what's up. Hopefully, like, it goes well when the season's back on. Hopefully, Matt will... Do good again. And after 2020, we don't know. Like, he's got four daughters to raise. Even though he does have one son, but he, but he's on his own. Ross Kenza. But he, Matt has four daughters. And we're not sure what's going to happen after 2020 for Kenza. I don't know. For Ross Chastain, it, there's a logical reason why Ross will not be in the 42 regardless this season. One, he's going, he's doing full time in the Xfinity series for Calig Racing. Like, I know back then when leeches were a huge deal, like they went to one one state for a race and then another state for a race, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But I don't think it's as easy as it was before. So, it's possibly, most likely, that Ross Chastain 
might be in a 42 in the 2021 season because Chip is still looking into Ross. I mean, plus Ross does some races for Spire, so there's that. So maybe Ross might be in the 42 for 2021. Who knows? But in the meantime, we got Matt Kenseth reuniting with Kurt Busch. They were teammates during the Roush days. And this is the first time Matt Kenseth will drive a Chevy for the first time since his Bush days when he was in the 17 D Walt Chevrolet before the Jack Roush era of Matt Kenseth. Um, so there's that. Very, very interesting news. A very shocking news, if you ask me. I think a lot of people, like I said, I don't think anybody expected Matt Kenseth to be in the 42. If, if there's that one person predicted that Kenzo will be in the 42. They're, they're lucky sons of bitches, I'll tell you that. So yeah, I'm happy to see Matt Kenzo back once again. Hopefully, um, they'll, hopefully Matt will do well once again. And um, so yeah, Chip's got, Chip Ganassi's got two veterans. <laughs> it's good for them. Good for Chip. Uh, so yeah, that is it for today's video. What do you guys think about this news? Were you surprised? Were you not surprised? Did you guys expect it? Did you guys not expect it? Do you guys think this is a good move for Chip? Do you guys think it's a bad move for Chip? Feel free to tell me in the comments below. Sorry for like pacing on all that stuff. I got, I'm in the middle of a stop motion race. Um, NASCAR stop motion race. I do apologize for pacing. So sorry that I'm not doing like a normal setup of what I do with these episodes. Of racing topics okay enough yippee yappy i'm gonna head off now thank you guys for watching this video comment like and subscribe for more follow my social accounts instagram i'm impress 25 and epress 48 underscore yt like my facebook page enasco 48 dash initial films don't forget to turn on my youtube channel notifications for more content Thank you guys for supporting E Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, because I think we're about to go back racing pretty soon. So, do me a favor, and help everybody on the entire road stay the fuck home, and take care of yourselves and families. <sighs> there you go. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation, and god damn it, I need a motherfucking haircut. Excuse my French, but I need a haircut so bad, my cybers are fucked up. No, that shit. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye, everybody.